My name is Michael. I'm a senior product manager, and I switched from using Splashtop Remote to TeamViewer. And for more reviews, click below. Both of these software platforms have helped in a number of ways in supporting our customers. They allow for very simple, direct access to their systems, especially when providing IT support, and on larger uh, projects, uh, connections to multiple nodes and even servers that we may have to provide support for. TeamViewer is a great platform to use. While both have very similar features, the user interface and layout is much simpler on the TeamViewer platform. And it seems to have a much stronger uh, connectivity with the end users. So when looking at multiple servers or different databases, uh, trying to locate which machines you're connecting to and which ones you're trying to support is much easier on that system uh, than on Splashtop. Splashtop, while again offering many of the same platform features as TeamViewer, and maybe not as easy, but really shines when it comes to the cost. Uh, their cost structure and pricing tends to be a little lower. So for those that are budget conscious or need something more budget friendly, that's probably an avenue to go. Initial setup and installation is uh, nearly identical between the two. There's going to be a master user interface or UI that you use to monitor and maintain connection to the devices. So you'll need their UI installed on your workstation. And then for the individual devices that you're supporting or needing to connect to, uh, there is a node that will need to be installed. And, and both are pretty straightforward. Some of the top considerations when looking for any remote support software uh, is probably going to start off at the top of pricing. Pricing structure, uh, the amount of devices that they support, and whether they charge bulk licensing or individual licensing per device. Uh, depending on your business platform and how many devices you're supporting, that cost can add up relatively quickly. Uh, other than that, you're going to want to look at what they support uh, by means of that remote setup. So, of course, besides just taking over a screen and doing mouse control and, and, and doing things, uh, does it allow for quiet access, meaning you can remote in and do things either behind the scenes, uh, manipulating system settings uh, or monitoring updates without it messing with what's running on the display at the time. Besides those two main features, you're going to find that most support software will do a lot of what you're looking for when it comes to accessing remote devices.